All right. Um, number one, how would you indicate an abscess in dental charting? Uh, it would be a dot Yeah. And then for that whole chart, like just memorize that entire chart because you, you can pull anything from there. And then what is the symbol for identifying a missing tooth in dental charting? The patient's yeah. face. Yeah. Um, uh, which wisdom tooth impaction is the most difficult to extract? Yeah. Yeah. So distal angular is the most difficult to extract. It's not going to be in the lecture, but he will say it in the lecture. So if he says it, just write it down. Yeah. And then which one is the most uh, common wisdom tooth impaction? Mesio angular one. It's another one that he just doesn't have in the workbook, but he'll say in the lecture. And like, um, I think it's those two, and I tried to include it because of that. Um. So number five, which type of fracture do these symptoms describe? Periorbital edema, infraorbital paresthesia, and palpable mobility of the nasal bone and maxilla. Yeah. It's in like one of those paragraph ones under the descriptions of World Four. It's also not like a written one. He'll just have it like written down here and I'll have to underline it. Um, and then which Lafort fracture is most common in speed accidents? Yeah, it's Lafort three. And then for um the end of this lecture, when he goes over the business side of dentistry, it's a lot of um fill in the blanks with just like the words and stuff. But I remember when I took the course, he did not like really ask the questions in that type of format at all. I can't really remember what kind of questions he asked. So just watch out for that one, just because he will ask, like, um, I'm trying to think, he'll ask like, what is like your overhand for like, like all of your business, like tax wise and like income wise and like all your, inf yeah. I don't know exactly what he would ask, but it is not how the lecture goes. So just watch out for that. Yeah. Uh, 